did it. I took one for the team and watched Fifty Shades of Grey. I could have went and saw Kingsman The Secret Service, a movie that I've been really wanting to see, but I didn't. I happily sat through Fifty Shades of Grey, and my god, it was boring. Uh, the story follows Anastasia Steele, a plain, boring girl who is getting an interview with Christian Grey, a suave but extremely boring billionaire. It's pretty much love at first sight between these two. Anastasia wants to take the relationship further, but Christian has a dark secret. He's into bondage. She has to make a choice of having a healthy lifestyle or staying with the extremely abusive Christian Grey. I myself did not read any of the books, so I have no opinion about the book-to-screen adaptation, so I brought in an expert. This is Anna Clark. Hello. <laughs> One thing I really did not like about it was that it was extremely slow, and I wish they would have paced it more so that a lot of stuff was happening in between. Is that how it is like in the book? Um, in the book, well, in the book, first of all, there's a lot left out, but also they did a good job for what they did put in the movie. In the book, however, it's paced out a lot better, and there's more filler instead of just, like, intense, intense, intense scene. Here's, <laughs> like, it, it was too much in the movie all at once, but compared to the book, there's so much more that happens that they missed out on. Another thing I didn't like were the characters. I thought <laughs> Anastasia Steele is the new Bella Swan. She's oh, extremely boring and plain, and she's just there to sort of be a placeholder for the people who are watching the film. And I wish that like she had some more depth. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that was the point, though, because they didn't want her to be some like awesome, beautiful woman. That would be totally expected for someone so attractive like Christian Grey, so they gave a boring character, and I think that was the point. And she wasn't, I mean, in the book, she's really sarcastic, which I like, but, <laughs> and in the movie, they, I think she, there were some parts where she actually was, like, she played the character well enough, but, I mean, that's the point. They wanted her to be someone very plain Jane, so that all us plain Jane ladies of the world <laughs> could be like, oh my gosh, someone like Christian Grey would like me? I, I, I wanted to like Christian Grey. I, like, he had the most depth to the character. Like, he has yeah. all this dark secret. He's dark a billionaire cast. at 27. I, w I really wanted a Patrick Bateman type character from mm -hmm. American Psycho, where he's oh, like yeah. this suave, sophisticated guy, but he's has this, like... Crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's insane. And it, it just didn't happen. Is Christian Grey, like, interesting in the book? Like, in, I mean, in the book, you find out a lot about him. You find out more about his past. And I don't think they did a good job portraying that in the movie because... For instance, the part where she asks, like, if the, if their cigarette burns on his chest. In the book, there's so much backstory on that. And he, he doesn't tell her about it, but she does a lot of, like, internal uh, narrative. And so he, like, totally messed up past. So in the book, you're like, oh, man. So now I like him because, you know, he's dark and mysterious, but he was also went through a lot. And in the movie, he's just like, I had a bad past. So I don't think they did a very good job at that. But... In the book, he's definitely a much more in-depth character, for yeah. sure. I just, I really wish that, it, it, for me, it felt like the whole film was like an hour and a half of mumbling, <laughs> and then it was just 30 minutes of sex. I will, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but that's the, like, in the, the, who went to go see that movie to see the movie? So, because yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. And I also went with a huge group of girlfriends, and girls are going to see this way differently than guys are. Guys are going to be like, oh, God. The acting was, in my opinion, terrible. And That's what I thought Also, well. there's a lot of, like, really cheesy lines they just kind of threw out there. When he says, I'm 50 shades of effed up. Yeah. I Like, the way he threw it out there, I was like, oh, I started just, laughing. Because I was like, that was so cheesy. Why did you say it, it like that? It was really badly delivered. And then it's... she's all, like, dramatic about it. And I was like, okay, calm down. But that wasn't, the point wasn't for the acting or for the, the plot, it was for the sex, so we're just going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the book, every three pages there's a sex scene. There is one thing I loved about the film and that was the music. Like I yes. really loved the soundtrack. Yes. I would consider buying that you soundtrack. You should, it's so good. Because I loved, uh, the, the guy who did the score, Danny Elfman, yeah. also did a whole bunch of, mm -hmm. like he does Tim Burton's movies. Yeah, 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 he does, I forgot about that. And I, I love to score. A lot of it did sound very Hans Zimmer y, like from it did. You're like not Batman wrong. stuff. And but I, I did enjoy it. I loved all the music, especially the Crazy in Love by <sighs> Beyonce. Beyonce. It just it was a great soundtrack. Final thoughts, uh, is it a good adaptation of the of the story? 
Yes, because everything that happened in the movie happened in the book, and it happened correctly. Like, there wasn't any changing of it, nothing like that. So that, I appreciate that a lot. However, there was a lot of missed out information. But I guess if you didn't read the book, it doesn't really matter because you're just going to see whatever they put on screen, and th then you have to form your own opinion. But although they left out a lot of stuff, I think they did a good job. Personally... I did not like any of the characters. Shame. I did not like the story. <laughs> it took way too long just to get into, so I'm giving this a big zero axes out of five. No. Is, <laughs> what would you give this film for people who've read the book? Uh, I mean, I loved it, so I, what is the highest I can go here? Five. Five? I'd probably give it four. I'd give four it four. Out of five? I'd give it four. four that out is of five. the highest rating on this show. Oh wow! Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, but I'm not the movie critic here, so <laughs> of course I'm gonna give it a higher one. <laughs> I'm Steven Serkowitz. I'm Anna Clark. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Uh.